couple of times I did say to him, I'm, I'm innocent. Uh, I'm innocent. <laughs> and he did try and get me to say, oh, so you're pleading not guilty. Yeah. And then I did distinctly say, I'm, I didn't, I'm not pleading. Yeah. I didn't plead. Yeah. I'm innocent of all con contained herein. Yeah. Like I say, I couldn't hear a thing. Yeah. Right, so over there, it's slightly muttering. I can see uh, the judge looking at me with her two uh, lynch mobs. Uh, made eye to eye contact. Yeah. Well, that's about yeah. it. Uh, I, I could hear um, uh, and the guy in front talking. And that was on a microphone. That was on the microphone. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. That was still coming out muffled. It oh, wasn't yeah. crystal clear. You, I couldn't hear at all. I'll bet you there was the a judge microphone switch next to me. And couldn't, never told me. Couldn't, uh, couldn't hear a thing. Yeah. Could not hear a thing. I'll bet you there was a switch right next to my chair or something. And then the other thing, when they kept telling me to sit down, I didn't sit down. That's a reason. They, they were saying, you can sit down now, Mr. Morris, and I just did my own thing. And that's because they're trying to take control, trying to get you to do what they want you to do. And uh, there was a few things I could have said, like, I'm not consenting to your jurisdiction. I did say that once. Uh, what he was saying, yeah, he kept trying to say, you're driving the vehicle, that's when I redefined it. I said, my four wheels. I also remember one time when I said I never, I've never driven my vehicle, and I saw the lady at the top right, and I thought, shit, I shouldn't have said that, because I did, when I didn't know of all the facts. But then it says that in my paperwork, because I've given them the paperwork, and um, that's when you said, what, what were you reading? I was yeah. reading my notice of submission for trial, and it says my response and my notice of submission for trial by jury. Which means I want people to judge me, mm. not a title. Mm. So that's. I'm actually wondering why they all walked out. Yeah. What well, was said? Again, if you have to ask me, I can't remember because I was just so caught up in the moment. Mm. But if there is one thing that might have done it. I am that lady was sitting next to me. What was that I said? They walked out. It's out of order. What was that I said to you at the beginning? in the car that I'd said something and that might have been what did it. No common law. Well I, yeah I did it, I don't know if it was at that time but I did get to the stage when I read out my Stay my opening up. statement Yeah. and it basically says I'm waiving none of my rights and I took my time and I looked at them. Mm. I'm retaining all my rights. Mm. So you trick me all you like and you've been given it in writing. It's on, that's another reason why it's all on the net. You want to deny it? That's fine. It's been up there for sixty days, yeah. thirty days. Um, but he was really battering forward, wasn't it? And isn't yeah, it? He was trying. He was trying. Yeah. He was trying. Really rushing. Yeah. He pressure. He was put, trying to put the pressure on. And the other thing I found interesting. I just leave that one off. Honestly, yeah. something. Be, yeah, and that's my hard disk doing that now. It might be graphics card. Yeah. Talking to everything else. And. Um, it's interesting that he was doing that, yet the lady at the top, who was presumably the judge, mm. and those two people, mm. sitting, there, yeah, sitting there, doing nothing, absolutely nothing. I found that very interesting. Mm. What else were we discussing in the car after we stopped taping? There's a few things. Well, you should have asked uh, the who's who. Yeah, yeah, so simple. I should, I should have asked. And uh, who was the witness? Uh, I'm glad I did say to them though, uh, I presume you're all public servants uh, for the public record, by divine grace, for the public record on the oath of office, I'm now binding you to your oath. Well, which you know, when you said uh, uh, the witnesses haven't turned up, or the lady said the witnesses haven't turned no, up, but they've got one witness. Yeah, I only ever heard she's got one witness. I didn't hear her. Yeah. Should have said, who is he? I Where know is he from? It doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter. But yeah. if you know, if, if they're saying we're in the court of law and we always tell the truth, yeah. then well, who is he? Well, he didn't want me asking. That was another thing. What was it? You were there when I asked. Is this a civil? I couldn't. Don't forget. I couldn't hear. No, no. Before we went in. Oh well, yes. I asked him, is this a civil court, or administrative court, or? Yeah. and he said, no, it's a criminal court. Yeah. I think he said criminal court. Mm. Well, that is a ju different jurisdiction. That's a serious jurisdiction. But, well, um, well, well, where we were, on um, magistrates, level three. Is it? Yeah, well, that's only, I, I think I can understand what's going on there. At the bottom, if you plead guilty, you just go in, pay your fine, go out. Yeah. The more the more you 
I don't want to say the more you know because I don't know. But I think it's a case of the more you stop them just getting you in and out quick, mm. you go to different places. I don't know. Well, when I went to court, went to the Royal Magistrates in London, you know, a big court, when it moved, you say your piece and you come back out and that was it. Mm. But that's all I did. Mm. Except it took us, what, 40 minutes? Mm. 40 minutes? I can't believe it. We ran there that long. Oh, I was surprised. I was thinking. 40 minutes. Oh, you get out before the person could probably get a parking ticket. Yeah, that's, what did I say to you? I, I, the other thing I was maybe expecting was we don't even get to see anybody. Yeah. Sometimes with my kind of stuff, they just don't call you. I think you were just hoping that you would see the two what, see, what you wanted. If, from, I don't know if they've received my paperwork because even though I sent it, got it recorded delivery to the clerk of the justices or whatever, mm. are they trying to are they trying to trick me? Or are they trying to convince me there is no paperwork? Because that's the other thing. Well, if you don't submit evidence... Yeah, that's fine. But you need to check all that by contacting the, the post office and see where you can sign for it. Mm, it's not about that. It's about whether it was entered into the record in a court. Yeah. And in other words, sometimes they say that when a judge is giving you a £60 fine, he's just all he sees is the instrument. And I also said that a lot, consenting to this instrument. Yeah, but then all you do is you take a big word with you and you go, here you go. If you haven't had it, which I submit it you know, to the legal system, here's a copy of it. Mm, well, if 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 I could, if it goes that if I could do it the way I'd like to do it, I would get three people to sign mm. the front page of the, all the pages, and I even printed another forty-four off to take in just in case they said we hadn't received anything. I never once heard that, so I can't make an assumption for them. Well, what you should do is instead of the top page, get all of them signed. Yeah, we need to be there forever. But as long as I get a document in front of a clerk and three witnesses, there you go, there's the information. Yeah. And I, I, it doesn't matter because eventually if it gets to that stage, then I'll, there must be a time when I'm allowed to give my side of the story. Mm. I sort of did today, but I don't quite know what went on. I, I find it interesting, although they didn't require me to say anything, they needed me there, and then when I'm there, they don't want me to talk. Well, oh, well, I found and that bloke seemed talking and yeah, talking. Yeah, well, that bloke, he was just a in this. Yeah. And from body language itself, it was like, I was, you know, yeah. he's either ignoring you. Exactly, well, from body language, here's, this is my opinion, from body language, I was one off on them. Well, Not that well, I knew well, what I, 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 I don't know about that. Right, but from their body language, it was like a case of, you know, but they weren't going hurry yeah. up, hurry yeah. up, hurry up, or, or they weren't saying that you're under arrest or yeah. you're being charged, blah de blah de blah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll tell, I don't want to sound too arrogant, but I didn't get the impression of them, they were following a linear path. So we do this, we do this, we do that, we do that. Because the minute, the minute they didn't get my name or my address or whatever it is in the way that they wanted to, yeah. Like you say, they're talking to each other. He was talking to the prosecutor, I'm trying to talk, can I say this? No, no, no. But then they want to ask, then he wants to ask me questions about the vehicle, asking me the same things over again. Um, where are you driving the vehicle? I was driving my four wheels. Yeah. Um, did you live at this address? What did I say to that? I can't remember what I said, but it, it's mum and dad's address. I used to live there. I didn't say that. I can't remember what I said. Mm. Um, but I noticed, I mean, the one thing I definitely noticed, which I've heard people talk about, it was, he must have been the cleric, I presume. He was talking to the prosecutor as if I wasn't there. Mm. That's what he wanted, me not to be there. You just stand over there, son, and you take the shit. And then we'll have a chat. Did you, did what you hear that? what he was saying? Or was it? Yes, I did, but... Faint? No, no, there was no volume problem. The problem was me and my nerves and looking at my paperwork, what do I want to say? I knew I had to get my opening statement. I knew that much. If I'm not, if I don't have to give an opening statement at summons, why are you summonsing me? Why are you giving me a notice? Well, that was the other thing you said, that uh, if I was the witness, I couldn't go with, with you. It's hard. If you're going to talk, yeah. yeah. If you're going to talk and give evidence. Yeah. Which is strange. Yeah, that's right, you did say that. If if you were going to talk and give evidence on my behalf, he couldn't let you in. Yeah. 
No. The truth is you can't because you weren't there, but then knocking the well, three police people absolutely. because it's hearsay. Yeah. They weren't even on the road when I did what they say I did. And never mind that, we have to find the legal lawful determination that says what I was doing was wrong. But that's that's something else. That's okay then. You made me think of something else here, but it's gone. Uh, Oh, the form that you never received, you didn't time for. Well, Acknowledge. Now this is the thing, we'll just stick this in the camera, I don't know if the camera's going to see it. Nice picture of you, Raj. Right? Oh, thank you. Now at no time was that stuck in my hand and I did not take that. See, it's a notice to defend it, the journal. So it's a notice, just another bit of paper. Yeah. So basically, there it is, it says, HM Courts and Tribunal Service. It's such a cheaply tacky piece of paper. It's amazing. Notice to defendant, adjournment, name J. Morris. This matter stands adjourned until. So that means 17th of April, what's today? 12th of March. March. So I've got another 30 days to respond, so I'll do exactly the same again. For the matter to proceed, if you need to contact the court for anything, South Warwickshire Justice, is that the same place? Yeah, it is, isn't it? South Warwickshire, yeah. is it? Well, no, it's not close, but... Uh, far from any, it must be. CB 32 for EA, South mm. Warwick, yeah, so it is the same. So that means turn up again, and i got a funny feeling, if I know anything, We'll just do the same thing again. How do you plead? Well, I don't. I'm innocent. Uh, and so that's all it is. It says notice to defendant adjournment. So I need to look that up in Black's Law adjournment. And that's what I'll keep doing. Refer to their book. On the 17th of April 2012, 1.45pm. And then uh, the three people at the top, whether it's the whether it's the, uh, the judge and the two people, whatever they are. The one thing she did say is you don't have to give your opening statement because we may not be the people that hear you next time you come along. No, Which is interesting. But that, that, that could be proper procedure, and I just don't know. I'm so sure it's available on the day? Yeah. So, 17th of April, no problem. If my paperwork's ready, it's the same paperwork. Mm -hmm. And then a nice gentleman came in to escort me out because we didn't leave. Although I wasn't told. Well, no, I was told. What was it? It's adjourned. Mm. The judges walked out, but the clerk didn't. Mm. He sat there. He's still conversing with me, still talking to me. The, mm. pro the prosecutor was still there. Who's talking to you? What's he mm -hmm. saying to you? He, he, towards the end, he was talking about the next case. And then the person that came in was definitely the next person to be sat and spoke to. Okay. Definitely. And um, the person, the lady with the, the curly blonde hair, the prosecutor, mm -hmm. she was still there. Mm -hmm. But then maybe she prosecutes all day and that's her job. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. I that's the next one we've got, the journal. Oh. Put that in my year. Yeah, you stick that in your to-do list of <laughs> get me to out, take. get me out of jail or a journal, whatever it is. Anyways, it's full. Camera off.